for anybody that misses it or whatever. Perfect. Okay. Well, okay. So KB Core. Um, KB Core is a. Uh, it's kind of like a we're a one stop real estate shop for any sort of um, client management or um, uh, lead generation, uh, lead nurturing things like that. It's a uh, it's a free CRM that we offer all of our agents and. Um, well, it's not free for us. It's free to the agents. Um, and it's one of the most powerful tools in real estate right now. So just like a little quick, um, a little quick word on how it works. Um, up here in the top right corner, you'll see this drop down menu and you'll see that you have your own real estate website here. So everything you do on this site is going to be tracked with this, um, with this, uh, URL and that's how everything, all the leads are going to be routed to you. Um, so, so I'll explain more about that in a minute, but this is the, the front end of everything you're doing is this website right here. So that's, that's a cool thing. That's the number one cool thing about KB Core is you get your own website. Um, so back here in our KB Core platform, this is what's called your dashboard. And here you can see Anyone, uh, you, you can text, you can um, email right from KB Core. So you can see any of the replies to your messages here on your dashboard. You can also send out properties. Uh, and I'll, I'll be doing this as my webinar later this afternoon, but you can send out properties. Um, same thing you can do with the MLS. You can do that with KB Core too. Or if you're working with a buyer, you can have properties sent out to them based on their desired search criteria. And here in your dashboard, you can see which properties they're viewing. Um, so if you see that there's a buyer that's really looking at a lot of properties, you can track that here and then you can look and you can help them find uh, a property that's much, uh, you know, that, that you know that they're very interested in. But you can also see replies to text messages, as I mentioned, um, and any new leads that come in. So if you posted a, uh, you know, if you shared one of your listings overnight, or if you shared um, a squeeze, pay, like right here, you, there's a new lead that just came in, and you, you see that here. So your dashboard, I mean, it, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, it's just, uh, it's a place for you to sign on in the morning, and you can see all the activity that has happened since the last time you signed in. You can also sort it here by just the, your new leads, uh, your new texts, new emails, hot leads, which they, um, hot leads are leads that have been the most active um, or if they've been replying to your messages and stuff. So that's, if you just want to focus on leads that are really, um, really dialed in and really uh, active that you feel like you could be doing some business with in the very near future, you can just see them here. Or you can see all the property views. Um, additionally, at the top here, you'll see today's summary, calls and tasks. Um, we'll go over that in a minute, but there's a way in KB Core for you to set up automated um, drip campaign. They're called drip campaigns. And what a drip campaign is, is it's a, um, it's a scheduled uh, <clears throat> campaign that, uh, it, that sends out automated touch points to your contacts. So if you have a whole bunch of new buyer leads, you can put them all in a drip campaign. And then each day uh, they'll either get a, um, an email from you or a text from you or KV Core will task you with sending them a call or, or sending them a text or the KV Core will schedule out a call for you to make. Mm -hmm. And each morning what you could do is if you have one of those um, if you have one of those campaigns set up or if you've set up anything manually, you can sign on and you can see how many calls you have to make that day or how many tasks you have to accomplish that day. So it's really good to kind of keep you, um, uh, to kind of keep you engaged and keep you on top of things. Um, each morning you can sign in and you can see, oh, I have five tasks today. I have to text three of my contacts and call two more of them. Or I have to find that with the task, you can make it a little bit more, um, you can make it a little bit more specific. Say I have to uh, call this client about their closing paperwork or something. I don't know. You can, you can set the tasks um, 
in each lead uh, profile, which again, I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, you can view that right here in your dashboard, tasks and calls. And if you, that's just one way that KV Core can help you stay organized. So that is your dashboard. Now I'm gonna go into our CRM, which is where we keep our contacts. I'm just gonna real quick pull up mine. Okay, so here is what your contact list will look like. Excuse me for one minute. Is there yeah. a password for this? There shouldn't be, no. Okay, because Sandy's trying to get in. All right, thank you. Um, so this is your contact list. So as you see here, it's got the name and it's got a lead status here that you can change or customize. So this is a, uh, a member of my sphere, but if I wanted to have them listed as something else, I can always do that. Like if I want them listed as a prospect or a client, happened? I don't know. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan left the building. I don't know. Let me text him. Oh, Erica, your picture's back. <laughs> At least it's not a live view. <laughs> I don't see anyone's faces for this one. Yeah, I don't no, think it's on set purpose. Up. We all just got out of bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I put lipstick on. I did, I'll do that Friday morning. I'm going to try to get hold of Ryan and see what happened. <laughs> I think because it's a, you know, he's doing it from his computer that none of the none of the videos are on. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It was his studying. Let's see if I can For some reason, he got disconnected. I don't know what happened. Okay, it happens. Um, okay, so we were going over our, our CRM. So we've got the name. You can see it right here on the front page. Um, the lead status. You can see how many times you've interacted with them via text, call, and, and email. So it's a good way to see right from the front page if you have a, um, a campaign activated or if you have... Um, if you have a property search alerts going out, you can see if they're actually working. Like you can see if you haven't come to this homepage in a, in a little bit, you can return to it and you can see if emails have been sent out. So that's a good way to see it. Like if it has zero, you're gonna think, oh wait, why is why are they not getting my emails? Um, right here, you can also see their interests. So whether, whether they sign in uh, or whether they come into your CRM based solely on um, doing properties 
or if you've manually added them and you've manually added their property interest. You can see that right here on the home screen. Um, you can also see your lead source. So you can see if they came in through a property boost or they viewed something on your site or if you just manually added them, you can see that here. There's a good way to kind of track and see the most successful ways um, for lead generation that you have. And you can also see your next action. So if they, if you have a task due the next day or if you have um, a call scheduled or an email going out to them, you can, you can check and see that here right on the, on the homepage. You can also, if you want to see more, you can click this columns and you can, you can just uh, add any, you know, you can check their lender or um, if you, uh, if you get a lot of leads from referrals, you can show that. So um, a lot of customizable tools here. Um, something you can also do on the home page is you can email. Or not. So let's say you want to email um, just this person. And you can send them an email. But even, even more important is you can filter out your contacts. So I have seven contacts in here, but you're all going to have hundreds, if not more. Um, each contact, you can add a little keyword or tag to they're called hashtags for areas or or property types that they're interested in so examples of hashtags would be like elma orchard park or a pool um, so let's say you come across it's very important to keep those organized and up to date because let's say you come across a house with a pool and you want you know you have people in your contacts that are interested in pools you come in here to the search, you can type in the hashtag sign in the pool. And let's say you got 10 people in here that at one point in time were interested in pools, you can select all and you can text them that listing. Or you can email them a listing. But either way, uh, you can filter out all of your contacts using hashtags. What you can also do is up here at the top, you can take the filter and you can show only your sphere by that filter. And then you can email your entire sphere that way. Or you go back to filter and you have it show, um, go to lead details. You can have, you can show just your buyers. So if you come across a new listing and you want to email all your buyers. So there's a million different ways you can filter out your contacts. But um, if, you, if you're also in this time looking for um, different ways to, to, like let's say you're on, you know, you have your KB Core all set up, you have your contacts in here, you've been using it a lot, and you're looking for something more to do during this down period. What you can do is you can, um, you can filter out based on behavior. Like if they, you can have it show only contacts who have responded to your texts or emails, or if they've saved property, or if they've ever requested a showing or asked a question, or you might just want to touch base with people you haven't touched base in a long time with. Like you might want to say, oh, I, I want to reach out to all the people that I, haven't emailed or texted in um, in the last month. You apply those filters. Um, of course, those will only really work if you use KV Core for a lot of your communication. But anyway, there's just a lot of different ways you can filter out your contacts and. Um, and engage with them in in ways that'll. I mean, the whole name of the game for this is to boost conversion. Uh, what you can also do with KV Core is you can click on each contact's name, and this is called the lead profile. So here's where you can edit and update their contact information. You can also edit their um, lead status. You'll be able to see if they are. Uh, active on search alerts or 
um, smart campaigns or if they um, if they're receiving market reports from you. What you can also do is if you're selling their house, you can add um, their MLS ID here and they can receive uh, traffic reports on how many views and shares and all and, and um, requests they're getting from your listing or from the listing. So that's a good way to, um, if you have a pretty tough seller, you can add them to their an MLS traffic report for them and they can see how much work you're doing to promote their listing. Uh, you can additionally, you can add hashtags right here to the contact. And then they just give the summary of what they're interested in, how they signed up, why they're in your contacts. And there's a whole bunch of more details you can add about each contact. So um, each contact you can get very, very, very specific with. Like you can add their occupation, their title, uh, their spouse's name. Um, you know, if you have any of this information, you can add it in there and, you know, really impress your client about how much you remember about them. Um, you can also see all of your changes or touches that you've had with this lead in this activity feed, or they call it the timeline. Um, any texts you've sent, any changes to their lead status, any hashtags removed or added, um, campaigns added, all that is viewable here. So if you need to come back and refer to any sort of communication or, um, or hashtags, the, anything that you've had that you've done, you know, you. This is an example. Um, I sent out an automated email uh, on New Year's Eve, and what I did the next day was I came in and checked, and it just I just wanted to verify that it actually sent. So here I can see, okay, yeah, I scheduled that email and it went out. Great. So you can see all this here, up top here, with alerts. You can. This is where you would uh, activate any sort of automated search for your buyer. And, and you will edit that just by clicking this edit button. And you just put another criteria here. And KB Core will let you know if any results come into those. So if it was, like, let's say, you put in all their information and you didn't see any results. That probably means your search is too fine. Like there's there, you won't, you won't be getting very regular results or something was wrong with the way that you put in your data. So you just have to go back and go back and probably widen your search a little bit. That's and then it's, yep. Um, for this one, what is the difference between this and auto emails through analysts? It's just it's 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 just the way you would do it in KB Core. Like it's they're not there's not a whole big of a difference. You can do it with either. Um, it's kind of cool with KB Core though because you can see um, you can see which properties they're actually clicking on and viewing. And then additionally, um, if they do view it quite a bit, um, KB Core has behavior automation where um, if they view like there's certain rules. Like if they view five properties, they'll get a text from you automatically that says, Hey, I see you're, you're looking around. Let me know if I can help you set up a showing with any of these properties. Um, so KV cores is kind of, uh, it's, it's a, you can be a little bit more on top of them because you can see what they're doing, what they're looking at, how active they are. And then when they are super active, they can get a text or an email from you that is automated. So it's like, you're right on top of it. So even if you really aren't like, if you, I mean, we all have, uh, you know, other things we're doing, either you're working on other deals or you have a full-time job, whatever it may be. KV core can kind of handle some of that follow-up. And um, that's just one more perk uh, to doing this as opposed to doing it with the MLS. What's also cool about this is we went over how um, everything's kind of run through your website here. So if you were to share a listing, it would be a link that starts with your domain here. And then of course, became more specific um, to that property. If you were to share that on Facebook or something, or 
if someone were to share it uh, and and then they're captured as a lead, um, KV Core will automatically read that that is the property that they're interested in. And then they will automatically start to get search or property alerts from you um, that are similar to that property. So if you have a listing or if you were sharing the listing of an open house you're hosting or something like that, you're sharing it through KB Core. And I'll go over this in a minute, how to do this. Um, and someone were to click on it and opt in as being interested, opt in as a lead, um, then KB Core will say that that property is their interest and they will start to send them similar properties on your behalf. So that's, that's kind of a cool thing that you don't have to always come in and manually edit these alerts. It depends, depending on how they came into your system, it might be already done for you. Ryan, I have a question. Yeah. This is Rubina. Uh, I wasn't here two months ago, so I'm listening to everything you say. I just need to okay. know where is the KV Core even located? I'm like sitting here like totally lost. Um, I, at one point, probably created i think i created an account for you and i sent you an email from kv core for you to set up your password and stuff okay then so what you'll have to do is is you'll have to go in and set up your password and i can send you once this call is over i can go in and send you that email again i'm pretty sure i have it if you sent it to okay it wouldn't have come from me it would have come from like a kv core email address okay um but then you and I can kind of do maybe do a one-on-one -on -one call at some point and I can kind of walk you through some of this more basic stuff. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So anyway, that was the CRM. Uh, going on to the, the listings section. KB Core pulls in all, um, all the MLS, the, the MLS feed. So you can find any properties that your buyer might be looking for. I mean, as far out as Rochester, Casanova. Um, and of course you can filter out too. Right here, it's showing all listings. Um, you, can, you can sort by listing agent or by location. You can also show only uh, our agency listings. So if, if you know that there's someone in your office that has a particular listing and you just can't remember it, you can't find it, you can have it show just agency listings. These are all um, properties listed with Metro Roberts agents. Uh, let's see. Additionally, if you do have one or more listings, you can have it show just your listings. So that'd be an easy way to find your listing. You won't have to search it. Um, but let's... Um, Excuse me for a minute. Yep. Um, have everybody mute there unless they talk because I hear background, music, background sounds coming over. Okay. Um, so listings, um, let me just quick find a property. Oops, must be taking five. We'll just click on, um, we'll click on one of Amy, we'll click on Amy Vassilow's listing. And from here, um, like I mentioned that this just pulls right from the MLS. So it's got all of the, um, it's got all of the listing information here. Like you don't have to come in and, and manually enter in this listing. It's already pulled in right from the MLS. It's got the MLS ID right here. It's got the photo gallery that'll show it on a map. Uh, you can also use the listings option here to really help out with help. Um, searching for homes for a buyer. If you have a really serious buyer that just like doesn't want to wait around for properties, but email to them from your search, they want listings now. Um, you can come into a listing that you find that is similar to what they want, or it could be a listing they want. 
but you want to give them more options, you can look at similar listings here as well. They're all similarly priced in the same area. And then you can also look at nearby listings. So if they really want this particular location, um, like here, they, they, you can sort it based on how close it is to that listing. So here, here's a whole bunch, of, like you could say, you could take all the listings within two miles and send it over to them. You can take, select all these listings that are within two miles of this listing. And you can text or email those to your uh, contacts. So, but also let's say this is your listing. Let's say you're Amy and you're looking to promote this listing. KB Core gives you a direct link to the listing. So if I click on this, And as you can see here, that's it's tracked with my information. So with like the approval of the listing agent, if you want to generate some leads, you can help promote their listings. So what will happen here is if I were to share this, this is my website. So if I were to share this and someone were to click on it a little bit, eventually KB Core will ask them to sign in and um, in order to continue to view it. And that's how they're captured as a lead. So then, as I mentioned earlier, what will happen is KV Core will automatically read that um, this price range in Evans, that's a, you know, a two-story, 12-room colonial, is my interest. And then they will send me similar properties from you. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, that's, that's the direct link. Um, you can see here that at least three dots, there's some more options. You can send it out via text. You can, you can save this property. So if you are working with a buyer, you can save this property for them. You can email a listing to a hashtag. So if you're Amy and you are looking, you have a new listing, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna try to promote it. So you're gonna email this or text it all to your entire database that is hashtag with brand. That's the ideal situation. That's if you have your hashtags all in order or if you have anyone hashtag brand. Um, you can print a flyer. So if you're hosting an open house, you can print a flyer through KB Core. It is pretty limited. Um, just a heads up, the KB Core flyers are pretty limiting. Uh, you can post this property to Pinterest or Craigslist um, right from right from here in KB Core. You can also boost a property. So property boost, I've gone over this in a bunch of webinars, but property boost is a paid uh, Facebook ad campaign that KB Core will do for you. And basically all it'll do is it'll, KB Core will use its artificial intelligence to promote this direct link to this property. And it's going to put it in front of thousands of people on Facebook. And what we typically see is in a week's time, um, if, if one of our agents is promoting a listing, in a week's time, they'll receive anywhere from 25 to 45 new leads. Um, all people that are interested in this property or somewhat interested in this property. They were interested enough to find the property in their Facebook feed and then look at it and opt in as being an interested lead. So that's another tool in your tool belt for uh, winning over a, a tough seller. I have a quick question. Originally, those links were not going directly to the person. Has that been corrected? What do you mean? Because I remember getting other agents, um, clients from like Facebook, or not from Facebook, from uh, Craigslist coming to my email. Yeah, we um, we kind of figured out why that was happening. And okay. I've, done, I've done a couple of tutorials on that, but if you're doing it through Facebook, the thing is that Craigslist is weird where like when you post it to Craigslist, it just becomes a flat, uh, you, like you can't post a link to Craigslist. So the reason that okay. was happening, the reason that was happening was because we all have the same phone number in KB Core, but it's a smart number, so it knows to that text messages go to you and all that. 
um, with your with, with, when they're coming when they're corresponding with someone that's in your contacts. But that was happening because in Craigslist, this number just becomes a phone number. So unless the the contact that is texting that number texts your name properly, like it'll say text Erica to. 716-265-6345 for more information. If that person didn't actually do that and he just started texting you about the property, that lead will go, will be routed to just a random person. So um, I've done some work around webinars on that. Probably good to just post your your personal phone number or just, just give your email in order to avoid any confusion. Um, you also have the option to purchase your own smart number so that that doesn't happen. But so we have a couple agents that do that. But anyway, if you're posting it to Facebook or anything like that, it's always going to go to you because it's always going to be using the link that is routed directly to you. So there's no issues there with Facebook, with Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, Pinterest, any of that stuff. But if you're using Craigslist that relies on the text codes, then you, it's up to the, um, it is up to the person inquiring to text the code properly or else they'll just go to a uh, the next person who's available on the um, lead routing. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. Does boosting a property, it's free, right? It's not free. No. Um, oh. it's, it's $60 for a week. And then as you get to your, you can do it up to five weeks. Once you get to your third week, you start saving a little bit, but most of our agents will do um, just a single week um, oh. to boost the property. Now, be warned a little bit that the buyer for that house almost never comes from the property boost, but the property boost is a good way to build up your wheelhouse. And then you can just have a whole bunch of people in your database and put them onto a smart campaign or something like that and um maybe five to five months or a year down the line they'll they'll consider buying with you but they always say uh the property boosted leads are passive leads because they weren't searching for a house the house found them on their facebook feed so contra contrary to what a google lead would get you a google lead if you were doing a google pay-per-click ad those are active leads. Those are people who are actively Googling, looking for real estate. Um, so those leads might have be a quicker conversion, but uh, a Facebook lead that just sees it in, in their feed might be a little bit more passive because they're not actively looking for this property. That makes sense. So they always say not to get discouraged with these leads. Have them in your wheelhouse, put them on, make sure they're getting communicated with every so often and pretty soon a couple of them will will be good you know as as we all know it's a numbers game and jim says it a thousand times but he's always a numbers game for if you can have if you can do a one percent conversion you're doing okay and if you could do a two percent you're a rock star he always says that so um for if you get a 40 new leads from a boost and two of them reply to you, that was 60, or two of them reply to you and then do a deal with you at some point, that was $60 well spent. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, I also understand that not everyone is willing to do that, but it's, if you have a, um, it, it, again, as I, I said earlier with the, um, with the traffic report you can send to your seller, it's just another tool in your tool belt. You can come in, you could say, I'm going to Matterport your house. I'm going to get the professional photos. I'm going to, we're going to put your property on the TV show. I'm going to do a property boost where it's a social media um, marketing campaign. And I'm going to send you daily reports on how, how many people are seeing your house and all that. So that's just another tool for that we can offer uh, or that we can give you access to. Um, for you to win over a tough seller. Um, also, um, for a new feature is you can boost an open house. So if you are hosting an open house, like let's say, I mean, this is a good example. Let's say you're hosting an open house for Amy Veslow. 
and you know you're going to be doing this several days in advance, you are able to, I'll just show you right here, you're able to go into Boost Property on her listing. And you can click open house and you can promote the open house that you're hosting. So a big issue that some agents will say is they'll say, well, I, I don't have any listings to boost and that's okay. Cause now there's a new feature where you can actually, if you're hosting an open house that, that following Saturday or Sunday, you can purchase an ad campaign for that. Like, here's an example of it. You know, you just put in the information about the open house. Um, you boost it for three days for 45 bucks. And then, um, and then you can grab a whole bunch of leads. And that's just, again, that's, that's huge. You know, it, it, what it does is the whole reason that we, that we host open houses are to build our database. So what this does is it markets the open house to hopefully get more people to show up or people are already doing virtual tours or whatever from this open house ad. So that it's like, it's almost like the open house has started before it's really even started. So it's a really good way for new agents who like who are hosting open houses to use a listing from some of our other agents to, uh, uh, to generate leads. So that's listings. A lot you can do with listings and, and what, what gets boosted is this direct link. That's this, this link that's tracked with your domain. That's the link that'll get boosted. And the way that you grab leads is people will sign in, opt in as being interested in the property. Um, next thing I'll go over is marketing autopilot. And I won't get, I won't go too in depth with this stuff. I'll just kind of talk about some of the things that KV Core offers because it's very easy to get confused with some of this stuff. But KV Core, here's in under marketing autopilot, KV Core offers um, smart campaigns, which are those drip campaigns that I've spoken about, um, which are automated, um, automated touch points that go out to your contacts. And you can have those customized to buyers, sellers, new leads. Um, past clients, people like that. So it sends them relevant information uh, that will, of course, help your conversion. Um, next thing is search alerts. This is where you would manage those um, alerts that go out to your clients in regards to properties they might be interested in. Behavioral automation. This is where uh, you can manage I mentioned earlier when Chelsea asked the question about uh, what's the benefit of having property alerts go out through KV Core as opposed to the ML. Well, if they're getting properties from you and they're clicking on a whole bunch of them, KV Core will read that as they are active, they are engaged, they are eager to work with you, and they will um, send them an automated text from you that says like, "Hey, I see you're you're looking around a little bit." Let me know if I can help you schedule showing. Uh, this KB Core mobile dialer, this is where you would manage um, like text codes or anything like that, as, as we talked about earlier. And then scheduled mass emails. Um, let's say you wanted to wish your client base a happy holidays or uh, remind them to turn their clocks forward. This is where you would do that. You can schedule out your mass emails. Uh, a new feature with KB Core is you can uh, is you can put uh, enter in birthday and anniversary of purchase information on your contacts and have KB Core send them emails and texts wishing them a happy birthday and a if you help them close on a house wish them a happy anniversary of purchase. Um, that's a lot. I just went through a lot, but don't worry. I've done webinars on all of these things individually. So you can always find those on our webinar database on YouTube. So there's a lot of automated things here and they call it marketing autopilot. It's a great term for it because once you have everything set up and we've gone through this, um, for the last couple of weeks, now is the time to really do that. If you have the time to do so, once you have all this stuff set up and squared away, you can kind of take your hands off the wheel and let them 
nurture your leads for you. Last thing I'm gonna go over today is just some of the lead engine tools. So we talked about, um, we talked about Property Boost is a very powerful way to bring in leads, but that's obviously a paid lead. Um, that's a paid lead generating service. There's a couple options you can do with landing pages and squeeze pages uh, that create, that require social media uh, creativity and, and regular use, which I've, I've gone over in the past. Lead Dropbox over here is if you have access or subscriptions to any of the third party lead routing sources like Zillow or Realtor.com, you can have those automatically funneled into your KB Core. That's a very powerful tool just to kind of keep everything under the same umbrella. Um, bulk import, those of you who have um, existing client bases or just a big group of contacts, you could submit all of your contacts in here like if they're in a spreadsheet format and they will just be funneled into your CRM so you don't have to manually add all of your contacts. Um, the CMA builder, you could build a CMA right here on KB Core. Just, uh, you know, it's, it's probably, I'm not gonna say inaccurate, but it's a quick one. You know, it's, it's probably no different than the ones you might get at Zillow. And it's not necessarily going to create, um, you know, it's not, the word won't be totally set in stone but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a quick way to grab one and to, to bring to a listing presentation. And there's a couple apps that KB Core offers, Millions Mapped, that'll show, that's an app that you can have uh, if, you're, if you have any buyers that are looking for homes, you can kind of check a map and see all the active listings. And then uh, the Open House app, which is very, very cool. Uh, KB Core has an app that you can download for your iPad or tablet and bring it with you on an open house and have everyone sign in at the open house. And then once you leave the um, open house, all those contacts will be funneled right into your CRM. So that's a good way to, you don't have to, um, you won't have to have everyone sign in on a sheet of paper and then contact them afterwards. That'll, that's such a pain. They're automatically in your KB core and you can email and text and call them directly from KV Core and it'll save you a ton of time. Plus you can automatically set up hashtags before the open house so that anyone that you are communicating with about that property, um, they're autom automatically thrown in and uh, they're, they're in the mix there and you can keep them in the loop on all the updates and stuff like that. And this is a, a new thing over here I sent this out via email to everyone a couple days ago, but KB Core released a new class on hosting virtual open houses. That's the biggest thing right now because we are, um, we are unable to do so in person right now. But take a look at this class and uh, see if you can learn some valuable information about ways to be more virtual. Um, once we come out of this, and all of our world leaders have been saying this is that we're not going to come back to the same world that we want, that we were a month ago. Um, and a reason that that's going to affect us here is that now we're going to, we, we will have used this time to be more virtual. Uh, we'll be able to have served our clients and our, and our, um, our contacts virtually, and it's going to make us all more uh, versatile. So, uh, Jim has said that to the stat staff a couple times. He's saying if, if there's any good that's come of this and um, he's not saying there's any, you know, any great stuff that's come of it, but if there's one glimmer of hope, it's that our staff has been able to adapt and become more uh, mobile and virtual and we can, it'll help us serve our agents a lot better. A lot, the same thing can be said about our agents serving their clients better. Um, we're all going to come out of this with brand new skills and habits and um and here's another way that you can continue to grow is by taking this class and it's all just a, a video it's just a whole series of videos that'll teach you how to utilize kb core and give you some helpful tips on hosting a virtual open house 
Um, so that's all I have for today. Again, I know that it's very easy to get bombarded and overwhelmed with some of the stuff with this, but I hope I didn't, uh, hope I didn't scare anyone away from using KV Core. It's a very awesome tool. And now we all have the time to really learn it. Um, Erica, is there anything else I should add about this? No, um, when we get back to quote unquote normal, I know that you do one-on-ones with people and help them. And I know I've even done one-on-ones with people over Zoom to help them with things. So that probably is another tool that we could use. Absolutely, yeah. I, I've done that with a couple agents as well. And it's, uh, you know, we kind of get on, we, I'll, I'll share my screen. I can have the agent share that I've had the agent share their screen and I can kind of direct them on where to go. Um, it's, it's been very helpful. It's, it's almost like we're sitting there one-on-one -on -one going over things. So if any of you want to set that up, I am available literally whenever. I mean, I got, I'm not allowed to leave my apartment. So day or night, really, I'm, I'm free for it. Uh, the only thing I have to, I have to do is work. So I've been working all the time just to, just to occupy my time. So if any of you aren't available during the regular business hours, I'm happy to do um, weekend or night calls as well. And we can sit down here for a half hour, 45 minutes to an hour and um, really get you all set up. And this is an amazing tool and it does so much. And Jim's giving it to us for free. Um, and as I shared with a lot of people years ago, I paid like six or $700, which probably in today's time would be about a thousand dollars for top producer. Um, and that is a marketing tool that was created years ago for realtors. And this is top producer on steroids. It really is awesome what you can do with this. So yeah, it is awesome. Banner. Um, well, great. So if anyone uh, wants to learn more about this, um, let me know. And, and I, again, I, I, I think this is a really great tool for, uh, for especially agents starting out. And, and the biggest thing that I get from agents when I've met with them since the day I started was it takes time to set this up. And right now we have nothing but time. So um, I've been helping a lot of agents utilize this time to really get their KV core squared away. So that the second that they lift this, uh, you know, the second that we're all safe and that we're able to, um, that we're able to come out of this and, uh, and meet with clients in person that they open the floodgates and their KV core is all set up and squared away and they don't really have to worry about it. It's, uh, it's going to help nurture their clients for them and, um, and they're, they're really excited about all that. So we're going to do Thank you guys for, for tuning in this morning. This was very good. Um, and if I can be of any assistance, I will, uh, I'd love to. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. Thank you so much. And Hi, thank you for you yeah, guys everyone's, showing everyone's up every safe. day. You too. Have home. a good day. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Yeah. Now, Erica, I don't know if I can leave without en ending the whole meeting. Well, go ahead. You can leave because this is all we were going to cover today. Oh, well I'm done. Only okay. Doing, yep, yeah, on I'm the, only doing right. little 45-minute blocks okay. um, I, three times I a didn't, week. I didn't want to shut down your whole class and dismiss everyone <laughs> without the teacher knowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We're going right. to be here Friday morning, too. So. All right. Class dismissed. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.